Hey everyone, I've got a new video for today. This time it is going to, well, it's going to be a little bit of a break from the uh, set two decks. And this is now going to be, just for this, a video on one of the new premium deck sets that came out for the premium format of Cardfight Vanguard. And uh, I've got the uh, Jewel Knight one for Royal Paladin. There are two other ones. Um, Revengers for Shadow Paladin, and Musketeers for Neo Nectar. So, uh, yeah, here we go. That's the uh, front thing. Uh, Salome there. Uh, just more of that. Uh, it's got what we've got in the back, or in the boxes itself. So just that stuff. Right. And it's uh, quite similar to all the other pre uh, special pre-built decks that we've gotten. We got a box, again, with Salome on it. Uh, Royal Palette in there in almost like a purple and pink. Oh, and again, Royal Palette in there as well and there as well. All right, let's over what's in here. So we've got the deck itself. We've also got a, got a case. It's a very nice case uh, with Salome on it. Again, kind of looks pretty similar to the box and the very top we have the Royal Paladin symbol. Very nice. So Anyway, these decks were made for the premium format. So this is for like the original format of Vanguard where we can use everything. So again, they, yeah, they made these in mind for that. So since premium is pretty hard to get into, since you've got like 10 years to catch up on, so this is a great way to get into that format. Okay, so we have a few things we gotta sort out. There's that stuff. Uh, the stride deck. Also, we'll put that here. So for the main deck, the main Vanguard is of course, leading Jewel Knight Salome. Uh, this is the original Jewel Knight Ace. Now, you probably notice she only has 10,000 power. Uh, we do get something that fixes that to the new standard of 13. So, all of this... So, she has pretty much all of her original effects from when she came out. So, she is a Limit Break card, and we've got four of her. Oh yeah, almost everything is common in here except for a couple of cards. So, yep, yeah, you've got Salome, Pure Heart, Jewel Knight, Ashley. This is from the V series, as you can tell, as she has a force marker right here. Uh, only two copies of this, Ashley. Uh, Broken Heart, Jewel Knight, Ashley, Reverse, another V series card. A Prevail Jewel Knight Yvonne. This was actually a promo from way, way back in the day during the Legion era. So this is another of our grade threes. Ironically, this is the only one of the decks that actually has Legion in it. So we only got two of him as well. Another V-Series card, Explode Jewel Knight Laylee. Or, yeah, Laylee. Four copies of her. Dogmatized Jewel Knight Sybil, another the V series version. Sybil's always been very good. Oh, probably the very best uh, reprint in this. Another uh, promo card. This was Jewel Knight Sword Me. This was very hard to get back in the day for Jewel Knights. Uh, again, it's the Legion mate of um, this guy here. And Legion was essentially 
combining two cards on the Vanguard Circle like that. Yeah, there we go. Uh, only three copies of Sword Me, unfortunately, but it's great that there's now going to be more copies of Sword Me in circulation. Again, Charging Jewel Knight, more Vetus, I think. We're on the Grade Ones now. We got four copies of her. Fruiting Jewel Knight Eunice. That's another of the Grade Ones. Four copies of her. Uh, Calling Jewel Knight Christine. This is another of the uh, original series cards as it has 17,000 power as that was the base for Grade 1 cards with effects. So we've only got three copies of her, which is fine. Uh, we've got the V-Series starter, Dreaming Jewel Knight Tiffany. And it lets you uh, draw no matter if you went first or second. And then if you went second, you get a quick shield. Uh, we've got the Keter Sanctuary Over Trigger. Now this is of course for in the standard format. Royal Paladin would now be in Keter Sanctuary, but since this is the premium format, they are United Sanctuary, but United Sanctuary, Keter Sanctuary is the same thing. So there's that. Uh, we've got Amulet Pure Eagle. This is the uh, critical with the effect of Generation Break 1. When your Vanguard attacks, put this unit into the soul, draw a card, and one of your Vanguards gets 10,000 power till the end of turn. Very nice. And it's got all the updated values for triggers, so the 10,000 power and the 15k shield. Very nice. Uh, more updated triggers. These are the uh, stride fodder criticals uh, when you are paying for the cost of stride this card may be discarded as a grade three sent flare draco kid very nice okay i did hear there was a bit of an error with this one specifically this is flash shield assault she is supposed to be the draw trigger but here she says heal However, she still does thankfully have the draw symbol here. I do have other copies of Flash Shield Assault that I can just swap in here in place. So even though these are, you can still use them, but they've got a huge error on them. But, <coughs> sorry, still getting over that cold a little bit. So if you have the, if you have these, you can just toss them aside and put them in Put in the ones with the proper effects. Uh, this is Innocent Ray Dragon. This is a grade three, but it is a heal. Uh, this is the, I think, Heal Guardians from V Series. When this unit is placed on Guardian Circle from hand, if you did not ride a grade three or greater unit this fight, perform one of the following effects. Choose one of your vanguards and it gets 10,000 power until the end of turn. Choose one of your opponent's units and it gets critical minus two until the end of that battle. When this unit is placed on rearguard from hand, if your damage zone has no cards, put the top card of your deck into the damage zone. Okay. So there's that. And then Elementaria Sanctitude. Very nice card to get. You can always use more of them. Uh, on to the stride deck. We've got Harmonix Messiah. This is the big money card along with this in this set. So all of the uh, deck sets that just came out for premium have these in them. So that's great. As we can see, Harmonix Messiah has a mess of text on him. Originally, this card did not have any effects. Ooh. Sorry, just had lunch as well. Um... So, um, its first effect is you can only have one Harmonix Messiah in your G deck. Uh, you stride for it. Uh, when this unit is placed on Vanguard Circle, choose any number of your locked cards and unlock them. Choose the same number of cards from your hand as the number of cards unlocked by this effect and discard them. Uh, Vanguard Circle and G Zone. When this unit is placed on Vanguard Circle or at the beginning of your turn, if this card is face up, your Damage, and your damage zone has two or less cards and no new card was put in your damage zone during the 
during your opponent's preceding turn, put the top card of your deck into the damage zone and draw a card. G zone, when your grade one unit is placed by riding from a grade zero, if you went second, you reveal this card and put a guardian shield ticket into your hand. That is a mess of text. Um, hello? Um, it's supposed to be okay. There we are. All right, we've got Climax Jewel Knight Lord Evangeline. We got a hollow copy of her and three, yeah, three non hollow copies. So this is our main G unit for the deck. Uh, Divine Knight of Triumph. Eulogus, this is the... Uh, no, uh, this is the one that... Uh, yeah, it gives you a force marker. So does Evangeline. Uh, this is the Generation Break 8 for Royal Paladins. Uh, Crystal Luster, this is a very good G unit for Royal Paladin, glad they have this. Uh, only one copy of many of the other G units in here, besides Evangeline. A uh, Knight, or no, Divine Knight of Abs Twin Absolutes, Saint of Twin Sword. That's a good one. Uh, Ariel Divine Knight Alt Mile, uh, two copies of him randomly. Uh, Fateful Sacred Staff. Morgaz, this is one of the G Guardians. Uh, Holy Beast Divine Maskell, another G Guardian. Laser Guard Dragon, another G Guardian. Uh, Vivid Sacred Staffed Andrigas, another G Guardian. And Mixed Element Colburn, that is another G Guardian. Uh, last up, we got the Quick Shield, the Guardian Shield. Uh, we got some force markers with Salome on them and Imaginary Gift Force 2s with Evangeline on them. Very nice. And then we have the Leading Jewel Knight Salome Crest. Okay, uh, if your heart is a Leading Jewel Knight Salome with the Limit Break ability and Climax Jewel Knight Lord Evangeline is on your Vanguard Circle. Wait, no, the Jewel Knight Lord Evangeline on your Vanguard Circle gets all of her original effects. Uh, when you would pay the cost for those acquired effects for the first time each turn, reduce the cost by two. The original power of your Grade 3 cards with Limit Break become 13. Uh, your Vanguard's Limit Break abilities are active. E even if your damage zone has three or less cards. Very nice. And you get, and we also have a hollow version of the Force Marker with Salome and one of the Force Twos with Evangeline. Now, how you get this, I believe, should be with Evangeline, so I'll go over her. Uh, so... The basic stride stuff. If your Vanguard is a grade 3 leading Jewel Knight Salome with limit break ability and you did not get an imaginary gift this fight, choose one or more cards from your hand. Okay, you stride. And then you get two imaginary gift force. And you get the leading Jewel Knight Salome crest. And then turn... This is her original effect. Turn a card in the G zone face up if you have a heart card with Jewel Knight in its card name, and if you have three or more rear guards with Jewel Knight in their card names, all of your units with Jewel Knight in their card names get 3,000 power for each face up card with her name in your G zone until the end of turn. Very simple. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. And again, we should go right back to um, uh, the set two decks right after this. I hope you enjoyed this uh, little side video.